Good morning, well, good lunch, everybody. Pirates, friends. Coming before a large crowd after New Year is always a bit scary. It's a time for new hopes, and it's a time for new futures. Europe faces many challenges. Luckily, there are no challenges that pirates cannot answer. We need to put the internet back into the hands of the people. The internet needs to fulfill the promises of social interaction, decentralization, and empowerment that it promised. Neuland, as it were, is the place which empowers us. It empowers Europeans and pirates to live and create freely. I will speak about um, copyright and security doctrines. From both of those areas, it is clear that Europe doesn't follow a good path. European political leaders failed to identify Europe's strengths and they failed to draw upon Europe's strengths. This is why pirates matter and why we need to lead. This is um, our contribution to European policy. And it's not merely that we understand the internet. It's also that we understand Europe. In Europe, we are peers. We will always be peers. And that's what pirates stand for. In the beginning of 2014, the copyright reform draws ever closer. This reform is much awaited. There is not a single European citizen who has not felt the boundaries of copyright law restricting them. Increasingly, technology makes law and removes us from the freedoms that the legislation tries to grant us. Monolithic and centralized companies control our friendships, they control our culture, and they control our communities. Centralization doesn't work in Europe. We are a place of many peoples, many cultures, and many platforms. So it's actually no accident that uh, the most successful distributed technologies were always European. Mininova was Dutch, Oink was British, Demonoid was Ukrainian, and the Pirate Bay still is Swedish. It's not, accident, it's not an accident that these are our technologies because this is exactly our way. The European way is decentralization and cooperation. Decentralization and cooperation between peers. It's also no accident that Europe is a place of remixes, philosophy and science. We collect from each other's experiences and knowledge, we remix and we create new stuff. In Europe, this has always been the platform for advancement, which copyright law now restricts. It's no accident that in Europe we have libraries in every town and almost every school. They are an integrated part of the European culture. We have universities in every place because Europe is a place where diversity and culture is preserved. Um, it's a place where diversity and culture is cherished and used to make new culture, new innovation and new leadership. And yet copyright tries to restrict this and we need to make that stop. Copyright law, as it currently stands, is no instrument for Europe. It's no instrument for 2014. It's made in a way that is inherently inconsistent with the European ideas of decentralization, cultural diversity, and cooperation. We cannot build a Europe which works for us if we are consistently stopped by a legal framework for a much more centralized regime. In Europe, we are peers, and that's what we, the pirates, stand for. Centralized control over information system, however, manifests itself in many ways. The Snowden revelations cast a particularly shady light on the centralized functions of security systems. Europe doesn't work with centralized government. European governments, governance must be based on transparency and trust. Instead, we have persistent problems of member states backstabbing each other. The Swedish government monitors the Finnish, our Finnish peers, and then we wonder why they are unhappy. In trade negotiations, there's virtually no member state that is safe from the betrayal of their peer member states. In space cooperation, it's been particularly apparent that even when member states know that they should be cooperating to save our communications satellites from flying around the debris, they actually don't dare. Instead, they work against each other and they spread mistrust. The fear of member states against each other is also rubbing off on Europeans. 
fear of the unknown, and distrust for that which we do well. Both the UK military and the Swedish military consider themselves at war in access points and routers on the internet. They want to control what companies do and what private persons do. They do it in the name of security, and they're turning Neuland into no man's land. It's a dreadful mistake, and not the least for Europe. And still, the Snowden revelations actually show only part of the problem. Sure, we can be angry with the governments for being stupid, and they are, and we can tell them to stop being bad, and we do. But in my, in my view, this approach is bound to be unsuccessful. What Europe lacks is an idea about what security needs to be for Europe. The political establishment fails to see why the internet is good for Europe. We, the pirates, have a vision for why the internet is good for Europe. We don't lack a vision for what works for us. There were many places in the European Union where the centralized planning of the economy by a security agency proved not to work. We have tried and failed with this model. Our future lies in something like open source software and transparency. Europe is good with innovation, and we are good with open. We are good with distributed. In Europe, we are peers, and we will always be peers, and that's what pirates stand for. Now, at the core of the European Union lies human rights, and we need for our security strategies to reflect that. In the words of Alciero Spinelli, one of the founding fathers of the European Union, modern civilization is based on the principle that we are not mere instruments to be used by others, but autonomous living beings. <laughs> the data protection regulation is, of course, um, the flagship initiative of the European Union at this time, which is blocked by member states. But it's not the only piece of the puzzle. We can't solve neither our security nor our privacy problems with only the one law. We require a pirate ideology for European future because we need an ideology that's based on what we're good at in Europe. We need an ideology based on transparency, diversity and human rights. Now, at the end of the day, this is not America. We're not the one flag union. What works over there doesn't necessarily work here. The challenge for both pirates and for Europe is to find out what our future is, and then we need to build that. European cooperation is deeply distrusted by Europeans today. The pirate ideology of transparency, decentralization, and human rights is the solution that we need. Some form of net peace agenda where trade means peace and where we come together. Especially for the internet and for Europe, we, the pirates, will make the difference. We need to put Neuland back into the hands of the people. It's the place where we're empowered, Europeans and pirates, to live and create freely. It's where we live and it's our homeland. Decentralization has always made the European Union strong. Strength in diversity might seem an old cliché, but still it's always worked for Europe. Trust and cooperation is created when peers work together across borders. It's created when we share culture, and when we act openly with respect to one another. This is the platform for European security and also for European industry. It's a platform for European Neuland which serves Europe and technologies that work for us. In the words of Robert Schuman, a former French foreign minister and a founding father as well of the European Union, Europe will not be made all at once or according to a single plan. It will be built through concrete achievements which first create a de facto solidarity. The internet is the greatest of tools for all of these purposes, and we have the European creativity to bring that forward. But we, the pirates, must advance these plans, these many goals, and see that after the elections in 2014, it is Europe that is capable of finding this way. In Europe, we are peers, and that's what pirates stand for.
I'm looking very much forward to be working with the candidates that you elect for your list after the elections in 2014. Also, there is currently a copyright consultation ongoing from the European Commission, which, was, which will close on February 5th of 2014. All of the grievances that you have suffered from copyright law in the last decade, you can now tell to the European Commission and ask them to fix that. So please visit copy, copy wrongs .eu and tell your friends to visit copywrongs.eu because this is the time when we initiate the change that our elected candidates will have to work with after the elections in 2014. So thank you very much. Thanks a lot, Amelia.